begun. Now as with the last couple of Steam sales, the games that are on sale are going to be on sale for the whole thing, barring a few exceptions, but still. So basically what I'm going to do is do the front page games for each day that I feel I have enough opinion to add about the games that I can make some recommendations. So with all that said, let's get kicked off into the first series of games, which is the Just Cause franchise. So naturally we have a couple of deals for Just Cause 3, we have the base game being 75% off at £9.99, Just Cause 3 XL which is the DLC and the Air, Land and Sea expansion pass is what it is, that's £14.99 at 75% off, or you can buy the DLC by itself for £6.79, you've got the Just Cause collection which is Just Cause, Just Cause 2 and all the DLC for Just Cause 2 for £5.44 at 75% off, Just Cause 2 is again £75 at £2.50 and Just Cause 1 is £1.24, crazy crazy cheap. Now Just Cause 3 is a good game but it is basically just more of Just Cause 2 with some improvements and it is a very fun game but uh, just do keep that in mind that if you're after big changes from Just Cause 2 you're not really going to get them. There are some changes to be had as uh, I did do a video on it a while back so do check that out on this very channel if you're curious but for £10 I'd say if you're after just some sort of mindless blowy up explosions pew 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 fun then you can't really go wrong with just calls. Next up on our list is the Far Cry franchise. Yes it's a day for franchises my friends. We have some deals for Far Cry Primal. It's 50% off at £19.99. Far Cry 4 is £12.49 at 50% off and the season pass for that game is also 50% off making it £11.99. Blood Dragon is £9.99 at 50% off, Far Cry 3 is basically free at £3.74, again 75% off. Far Cry 2 is 66% off, making it £3.39, and the original Far Cry is £2.37, again at 66% off. I have to say, the price for Blood Dragon is not great. It's an amazing game, don't get me wrong, but I've seen it for way cheaper than it. I mean, I myself got it for about a fiver ages ago I mean if you want Far Cry but really silly as if it was a 80s vision of the future but in a video game with lasers dinosaurs and a dedicated button to giving someone the middle finger then Blood Dragon is definitely worth picking up I'm just saying that I have seen it cheaper than this Far Cry 4 not a bad price for it but given how long it's been out it's not the best deal in the world but it's still pretty cheap for such a good game and Primal is £20 I would say meh I wasn't particularly impressed by Primal but you know your mileage may vary on that one <clears throat> next up is the Grand Theft Auto franchise so what do we have well we got a decent chunk of money off GTA 5 making it 50% off at £19.99 GTA 4 Complete Edition is £8.99 at 70 percent off GTA the trilogy which is GTA 3 GTA San Andreas and Vice City are all in one tasty bundle for 70 percent off for five pounds nine those three games are arguably some of the best games in the series GTA 3 is my personal favorite out of the series so just for that alone that's worth it GTA 4 itself is 65 percent off at six pounds 99 you've also got episodes from Liberty City at five pounds 24 and San Andreas is £3.49, Vice City is £2.9, and GTA 3 is also £2.9. Might actually pick that up, you know, it's been a while since I played GTA 3 and £2.9, well, they're basically giving it away, aren't they? As for GTA 5, well, I highly doubt you need me to tell you what GTA 5 is. It's a fairly decent price, £20 for a game that's going to last you hundreds of hours, but I personally would say to get the trilogy or get those games individually if you already have one or two of them as they are what I would say the pinnacle of GTA. Next up, continuing on the franchise theme is Batman. The beleaguered Arkham Knight is pretty cheap here at 50% off making it £12.50. You've also got the premium edition which has the season pass included in it. That's 60% off at £16.40. Arkham City Game of the Year Edition is 75% off at £3.74. Arkham Asylum is also £3.74, as is Arkham Origins, and Arkham Origins Blackgate is £3.74 as well. We also got Lego Batman Trilogy, which is 
Batman the Video Game, Lego Batman 2, DC Super Heroes, and Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. That is 75% off at £7.49. And each of those individual games is also on sale outside of that bundle. Lego Batman and DC Super Heroes are both £3.74. Beyond Gotham is a tad more expensive at £4.99. Now, Arkham Knight it was a disappointment to me. It wasn't all that great. I mean, it wasn't a bad game because, well, it's Batman. It's made by Rocksteady. You know, unless it's Arkham Origins. <laughs> yeah, joke's funny. But seriously, it was a bit of a disappointment. So I would say £12.50. Yeah, if you haven't played it already, go for it. But yeah, I would say that, you know, you're better off getting Arkham, Arkham Asylum or Arkham City if you're going to play a Batman game. But to be fair, most people have already played those games already. However, if you haven't, personally, out of those two, I would recommend Arkham Asylum. £3.74 is an absolute steal for that game. So I would heartily recommend that particular title. Next up is the Elder, Cro Elder Scrolls series. Again, a series that doesn't really need much introduction. Huge Bethesda RPGs, and if you want a massive time sink, well, look no further. Skyrim itself is £3.29 at 67% off. You've also got Skyrim and add-ons, which of course is Skyrim itself, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. All that together is 72% 72 off, rather at £11.59. You've also got Elder Scrolls Online Gold Edition at 50% off, that's £19.99. Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited is £6.59 at 67% off. And we've also got deals on Oblivion and Morrowind, as if you haven't already played those games 50 times. Mor uh, sorry, Oblivion is £7.49 at 50% off and Morrowind is £6.49. To be honest, I've seen both Oblivion and Morrowind for far cheaper than that, but, you know, if you somehow haven't played Skyrim before, £3.29 for the base game is absolutely worth it. But I would say, if you're going to get any of the packs, get the full thing with all the items and stuff, because it has all the DLC, so it's going to keep you going for absolutely ages. Unfortunately, doesn't seem to be any deal on the special edition at this time. This is the last franchise on our list, guys, I promise. It is the Civilization franchise. Now, Civ 6 does have a little bit of money off, but given that it just came out, it's not a huge amount, which is hardly surprising. It's 10% off, making it £44.99. Civ 5, on the other hand, is basically giving, away, giving it away at £4.99 at 75% off. You also got Civ 5 Complete, which comes with the game and a absolute ton of DLC for 92% off, making it £8.06. You've also got the Civilization Anthology, which has Civ 3, Complete, Civ 4, Civ 5, sorry, Civ 4 Warlords, a bunch of DLC for Civ 4, Civ 5, Beyond Earth, and the Beyond Earth DLC. That is 74% off at £24.15. That is worth £92 ordinarily, so... <laughs> If you haven't played Civ, then uh, that's the anthology for you. I mean, obviously, if you can't afford Civ 6, Civ 5 is, from what I've heard, with all the DLC, really, really good. So if you're going to be getting it, I would recommend you get the DLC. But Civ 6 seems to be getting resounding praise. So if you do happen to have your wallet healthy enough to spend £45 on a single game in a Steam sale, then it seems it comes with hearty recommendations. We, of course, have individual deals on Beyond Earth, £7.49. Civ 4, the complete edition, is £3.74. Civ 4 by itself is £2.49. Also, you've got the DLC, uh, that's reduced pretty heavily to £2.49, £1.49, and 74p. And Civ 3 is 74p as well. So, now that we're finally done with the, uh, the franchises, we have Grim Dawn. Now, I will admit that I haven't actually played this game, but... I've had a poke around, and it is an ARPG, so sort of Diablo-style RPG. We've got character development, unique items, crafting, and quests, and choice with consequence, apparently. Now, overall, it does have very positive reviews, and the recent reviews are also very positive as well. The deal on this is not too bad. It's 40% off, making it £11.99. So if you're hankering for a good old-fashioned ARPG, and perhaps you are... A bit tired of Diablo 3, this might be worth a look. Next up we have Battle Right, another game that I haven't played. And essentially from what I can tell looking at gameplay and such, this is basically a MOBA stripped down to its barest element. It's a PvP team arena brawler and is a spiritual successor to Bloodline Champions. 
it's either 2v2 or 3v3 battle. So you, you choose your hero, whatever they're called, your character, you've got certain abilities, and obviously you've got your teammates, and you fight against the enemy team in a certain amount of time, as if you start to take too long, the arena starts to disappear, and obviously it does put you on a bit of a time crunch. Again, this has very positive reviews, both recent and overall, and it's 25% off, making it £11.24, so not a huge reduction, but it is a pretty cheap game to begin with. I have been hearing nothing but good things about this game. It's just not really my cup of tea, and I have to honest, I haven't even had the time to even slightly think about trying something new. But it seems to come quite recommended. However, next up is a game that, again, needs no introduction as Ark Survival Evolved, which is still in early access after all this time. It is 50% off, making it £11.49. Now, of course, this is a multiplayer survival crafting thing where you can tame dinosaurs and ride around on them, as well as, of course, you know, kill dinosaurs, breed them, and all sorts of stuff. There's a bunch of mods and stuff for this game which are apparently really really good however just as a bit of a warning while this game seems to be hugely popular it does have mixed overall reviews and recent as well that might be something to do with the fact that they've added dlc into the game while it's still in early access that didn't really go down too well in most people's eyes it's 50 percent off 11 pounds 49 though so if you were thinking about getting into this game that is a pretty hefty discount and if you do enjoy this sort of thing it probably will be a good time speaking of a good time next up is cities skylines basically this game is everything that sim city wasn't it is a classic city builder and has been praised all around by people who love those sorts of games Gave it a bash myself, and it is very, very good. It is basically everything that everyone wanted from SimCity that they didn't get due to, well, EA being EA. And has got very positive reviews, both recently and overall. And it's pretty damn cheap as well, considering how much entertainment you're going to get, get going to be getting out of this game. It is 75% off for the base game, making it £5.74. The Deluxe Edition is £7.49. Or if you already own the game, the Deluxe Upgrade Pack is £1.87 as well. So if you're after a good city builder, you can not go wrong with City Skylines. Next up on our list today is a game that I absolutely adored, and there is a playthrough of it on this very channel. It is none other than Inside. Now, this is done by Playdead, the guys who did Limbo, and it is a very similar game in terms of its mechanics to Limbo. If you enjoyed Limbo, you'll enjoy Inside. This is the same sort of puzzle platforming gameplay. It is a bit more intuitive than uh, Limbo in many ways, and quite isn't quite as punishing. It has a really interesting world and a story that is very much told in the background. There's no dialogue really ever. It's all pieced together from your actions and what you see going on behind you and what the things that happen to you. This game is absolutely stunning and I would highly recommend it. It is a bit of a grim experience to say the least, but um, if you're prepared for that, I would highly recommend Inside. It is one of the top games of this year. Recently, we have overwhelmingly positive reviews. It's very positive overall, and it's a, not an amazing reduction, but it's a pretty cheap game to start off with. It's 25% off at £11.24, or you can get Limbo and Inside together for £11.37. So if you don't own Limbo, you might as well get that pack because, well, you're paying basically 20p or something more to get two games that are absolutely amazing. Next up is another game I have not played, and it is Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom. Now, I have seen the anime, but I've not really played the game, because, to be honest, any licensed game immediately just puts me on edge, like, mm, I don't know. But this has got very positive reviews across the board, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. Apparently, it gets the flow of, you know, the, the 3D gear and swinging around to get to a Titan's weak point pretty much on point. The graphics, while not exactly top tier, capture the feel of the anime from the gameplay and screenshots. And the gameplay, from what I've heard again, is exactly what you'd ask for from a game called Attack on Titan. So, it is a case of a game actually following its source material and being better for it. 
The reduction is fairly decent, but given that this is a game is really expensive at $49.99, it still means that this game is pretty expensive on its own. So given that this is a Steam sale, I would say it might be better to hold off, but it is 40% off, making it £29.99. So you can see what I was saying there. I mean, if you're a big fan, I'd say look at reviews and so on, get a feel for the gameplay and decide, but I would say in the Steam sale, £30 is a lot, and I would say wait for a better reduction given how high the cost of the base game is here. So, that's it for the games on the main page. However, there are a few more highlighted deals. I won't be going through any descriptions here. I'm just going to very quickly go through some of the other games that are on sale. We've got the Naruto franchise, Elite Dangerous for three, uh, £13.39. Tabletop Simulator, £7.49. Street Fighter franchise is up to 80% off. Oh, Naruto is up to 75% off, by the way. Abzu, which I've heard is basically Journey Underwater, is £7.50. Civilry... Uh, Chivalry? Chivalry Medieval Warfare is £1.89. Gang Beast is £10.04. Imperion Galactic Survival is £7.49. Outlast is £3.74. Buy Outlast, it's really good. PES 2017 is 35% off, 25, uh, it's £25.99. I would highly recommend you look at reviews. I've heard bad things about the PC version, so do keep that in mind. We've got This Is The Police at £9.23. And Quantum Break is £22.49. Now, this game isn't on the front page or anything, but I've already very quickly mentioned it because it's a really, really good game, and that is Darkest Dungeon. It is currently 40% off, making it £11.39. This is a very difficult turn-based RPG, and if you're up for a challenge while you're also enjoying a really interesting world with some fantastic narration, give Darkest Dungeon a bash. All right. That's me done for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back again with the Steam deals of the day, assuming, of course, I have enough to say about the deals. I don't really like doing them when it's like, there's a page full of games I haven't played. Yes. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.